Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I will show you a location to force spawn collectibles and there will be 7 items in total that you can find here. Now for all the other force spawn videos, we've been loading into free roam in order to look for all these collectibles. But for this particular spot, it will be at Thieves Landing. But instead of using free roam, we're just going to use a camp spawn and spawn directly into the camp which you can locate at Thieves Landing. So let me open up the map and you can see that my camp is right near Thieves Landing. This is a small location, a very small area, so all the cards will spawn, all collectibles will spawn as well. And this is much better than letting the game load you into random locations, so at least you know where you will load in, and that all the collectibles will actually spawn. So your camp can be in the same location as my camp right now, or your camp could be south of where the fence is and it will still work. The only other thing that you will need in order for this thing to work is to be in a private lobby because in a populated or public lobby, your camp will probably not be in the same location once you log in again as the game will try to allocate you a camp that is not near anyone else. So to continue with this glitch, once you've gotten your camp in the desired area, all you have to do is to quit the game and follow what I am going to show you. Now once you're back on Windows, go over to the directory that is shown here so basically under your user account, this will be the folder where it is supposed to be. Now whether you're playing on Epic or on Steam, it doesn't matter, the folder sequence will be the same. There are many temp folders in your system, but this is the one that you are looking for. So once you are in this temp folder, make sure that your game on Steam or Epic has finished syncing before you attempt to do this. So what you're going to do is that you are going to highlight all the files in this folder Remember, it's just files and not the folders inside. Just highlight all the files and then you delete them. If there are some files that Windows are not allowing you to delete, you can just skip them and it will still be fine. When you start up your game again, at the menu, just select to go to camp and the game should load you directly into where your camp was. On that crate was supposed to be a two of pentacles, but the camp was too close, so the card did not spawn. As I move on to the next location over here, on one of the ledges, you will find a Four of Swords. Running over to the next location, it will be on a boat. And once you're at the boat, just climb the ladder up here. And you should find a King of Wands at the corner. Also on the ship, there will be a cargo hold just right here, where you have to go down the ladder and there will be a chest right at the very bottom. Once you see that chest, opening it will give you a goat hairbrush. Now I am full on this item, which explains why I am unable to take it out from the chest, as I've gotten this heirloom many, many times, even in random spawns. After this, you can leave the boat and run back to the main area, where the next collectible will be located in a small building in this direction, and it is here that you will find an Ace of Wands. However, it did not spawn in for me this time round, but at least I'm showing you the location. Next will be this sort of junkyard or cargo area, and located on top of the boxes, there will be a Queen of Swords. Now in the same area on top of another stack of boxes, you will also find the Eight of Cups. And that is all for this location, all 7 items, quick and easy, and collecting all of them should take you less than 5 minutes. If this has helped you out, do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming content, as very soon I will be showing more glitches other than force spawn collectibles, and those could be pretty much worth watching. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.